was eight years ago in 2017 that we released our first generation of LIGO battery packs. These are small 36 volt 2.7 amp hour battery packs that are designed to be just under the 100 watt hour threshold where the shipping and transport of lithium batteries becomes problematic. Now this is a small portable 99 watt hour 36 volt battery module designed specifically to help circumvent some of the difficulties faced with shipping or traveling with e-bike battery packs. By being just under 100 watt hours, it was possible to carry this battery with you on a passenger airplane while you were flying and doing trips. And it also let us ship the batteries without having to classify the whole package as a class 9 dangerous goods item. Once you had a collection of separate batteries together, you could plug them in parallel into one large battery that behaved like any typical 500 to 800 watt hour e-bike pack. Now the LIGO batteries did quite well and we had a number of customers spanning a range of different industries that faced the same problem and challenge of shipping batteries. But we hit a hiccup during the pandemic when pandemic era chip shortages meant we had a two year lead time to get more of the key microprocessors that are on board the LIGO BMS that we had designed. So facing that, and the fact that the way in which we had designed this battery didn't really scale for higher volume manufacturing, we decided it was a great opportunity to rethink and redesign the LIGO pack for the future. And that is what we're ready to unveil today. And this is our LIGO 10X, the next generation of LIGO battery module. So it shares a lot in common with its predecessor, of course, namely being just under 100 watt hours to bypass all the shipping restrictions that normally govern large e-bike battery packs. But a lot of other aspects, as you can see, have been totally reinvented. Now, first and foremost, of course, is the form factor. You can see that the original LIGO had all cells laid out in a flat row, which was a kind of convenient layout for certain applications, things like electric skateboards where you needed a really low profile deck but it didn't stack too nicely when you were mounting these batteries on an e-bike. In the LIGO 10X, we've arranged the cells in the 343 layout, giving a pack that has roughly a similar width to many of the down tube batteries. And instead of stacking side by side, they stack end to end. Now, one thing that this updated form factor allowed us to do was embed the connectors of the LIGO itself into the casing. And that was one of the big downsides of our first model. We had cables coming out the end of the battery that were connectorized with Anderson power poles. Now those are versatile connectors, but when you had say six LIGOs together, that meant a whole cluster of cables and connectors that you needed to manage that were kind of this ungainly mess inside the soft bag where you'd normally stuff the pack. On the LIGO 10X, with this updated profile, we had the room to embed an industry standard XT60 connector on either side of the lid. That way, as you stack the batteries together, they electrically click and link. You have no extraneous wires or cables to deal with, and your finished pack has the same two male and two female XT60 connectors on either end for further expansion or for plugging in any accessories or devices. Another nice update of this form factor is it allowed us to embed an attachment method of the battery to the frame of your bicycle or vehicle. So the original LIGOs were typically mounted inside just a soft padded bag uh, on the, behind the seat post or on the down tube, but there wasn't a secure way to click it and lock it to your bike frame. And the LIGO 10X is we've included in the lid a lift geometry that allows the whole battery itself to slide onto a machined rail that can be secured positively to your bike frame, either with hose clamps or screwing on to existing water bottle islands. This allows you to treat your battery like a down tube style battery and have it click on or off the bicycle with just a single button press and stay secure on the bike while it's in place. Now we make these rails for holding from three up to six LIGOs in a pack, depending on the size of battery that you want and the amount of length available on your bicycle tubing. And you can always mount fewer LIGOs than the size of your rail. So there's no problem having a six piece rail, but only running with four or three LIGOs at a time if that's all you have on hand. Another similarity between the 10X and the original LIGO is the button and LEDs. So we still have one momentary button that can be used as an interface into the battery. A brief pest will illuminate the LEDs to show the current charge level. Uh, and we have five multicolor LEDs that convey information about the battery itself. It indicates whether the battery is charging or discharging, it indicates the charge level, and it indicates if there's any fault conditions like the battery being over voltage or being over temperature or too cold to charge. Uh, each of those has a different colored LED pattern that's fairly intuitive and explained in our user manual. One difference that you won't see just looking at the battery is the cells themselves. So the first LIGO that we released used cells that on paper would produce a 98 watt hour battery pack. But in practice, especially the currents that people would draw in an e-bike battery pack, you would typically get more like 92 to 93 watt hours out of the battery. 
we went to the LIGO 10X, we were able to use a slightly higher capacity cell that still ensured we would get a full 99 watt hour discharge, even if you discharge it at a fast 1C discharge rate. And that means you'll get more range and greater distance on a LIGO 10X pack than the equivalent of our original LIGOs. So just like the LIGO batteries, the 10X model has a very robust BMS circuit under the hood. Now the BMS is a circuitry that's there monitoring all the cell voltages, the cell temperatures, the current flowing in and out of the pack, and is able to do cutoffs and prevent the cells from continuously to discharge or charge when any safety zones are exceeded. That includes under voltage protection, over charge voltage protection, over current protections, short circuit protections, under temperature protections, over temperature protections. All of those things are expected in any modern safe lithium battery that's sold. But one thing you don't get in the BMS circuits with most standard e-bike packs is overcharge protections on the discharge port. So typical e-bike batteries aren't expecting to be charged from the discharge wires. But if you parallel two or more batteries together in order to increase the capacity, you can effectively bypass the overcharge protection that you expect to be present in the pack because that port for discharging won't actually stop current from flowing back into the battery pack. The LIGO 10X BMS was fully designed with parallel connections in mind, and there's no problems hooking up flat batteries in parallel with charged batteries, even parallel connecting the LIGO battery to a non-LIGO battery. The LIGO itself will fully protect its internal cells, even if you connect a flat LIGO to a charged e-bike pack or a really charged LIGO to a flat e-bike battery. The cutoffs will kick in, and once it sees the voltages at a closer level, it will then turn on the parallel hookup. So at the end of our 2017 video, we finished with a little teaser showing how to enter Bluetooth mode with the LIGO pack. If you hold the button for long enough, it will turn blue. And that is Bluetooth mode. At the moment, this has no function at all. But we never followed up with that, enabling the feature or providing an app available for customers to download. Because even though the LIGO had a fully functional Bluetooth antenna on it, we had no idea of the regulatory challenges and costs associated with getting a product to be certified for Bluetooth. Had we gone through that process, we would be locked in and unable to make any additional changes to the BMS circuit board without redoing all of that certification. We took that lesson to heart, and in our LIGO 10X, we designed the whole device around a pre-certified Bluetooth module. This enabled us to jump through the hoops of Bluetooth certification much more readily and pay the rather exorbitant Bluetooth special interest group fees to have this as a Bluetooth official product. So we at Grin are not a huge fan of this world of having apps for everything, and especially having physical hardware that needs a phone app in order to work. So of course, to use a LIGO and all its functionality, you don't need an app at all. But if you're curious to know what's going on under the hood, or you want to tweak some of the settings for yourself, there's a lot of really neat stuff to be seen. So in LIGO 10X, we enter Bluetooth mode by pushing the button three times in succession. You then see the wave of blue LED patterns, and that allows it to broadcast its presence to any nearby smartphone or laptop computer. Now, we currently have the app available for Android and iOS, and when you connect to the LIGO battery, it provides not only a great amount of data on just the current state of the battery, all the cell voltages, it also has a lot of very interesting historic usage that can shed light on why the battery may be performing the way it is. So we get to see what kind of discharge currents that the battery's been exposed to, what's been the average voltage over the history of the pack, uh, and how the internal resistance has changed or evolved over time. Um, similar information on the temperature, how warm the battery's been during charging, during discharging, or just while sitting idle. We're hoping that all of that information will help us learn and better educate people on the expected lifespan that you can get out of a lithium battery based on what kind of exposures that you give it to. So if we can see here that you know, batteries that have very high temperatures or very high charge or discharge currents end up degrading faster than batteries with more moderate conditions, we'll hopefully from this data be able to quantify and let people sort of predict more accurately what the consequence would be from stressing a battery more. And is it a trade-off you're willing to make in the interest of having, say, a lighter weight battery pack for high power levels versus getting a higher capacity battery in order to smooth out that power over more cells, but at the expense of a higher weight battery. And there's interesting stuff like just the event log, all the things that have caused the BMS circuit to trip. It will be really useful for remote troubleshooting if anyone's having any issues with their LIGO battery. 
And of course, being less than 99 watt hours, it's no problem to also ship the battery back to Grin if ever we had a warranty situation that warranted that. We'll follow up with a more detailed video just on the app itself and all the information that's provided. Uh, but in the meantime, know that you can get a little sneak peek about what's going on inside the battery with any Android or Apple phone. So the end result is that a LIGO pack like this is about twice as expensive as a single high capacity battery of the same size. And whether or not that's worth it for you really depends on what you're doing. If you're somebody who just has an e-bike to ride around town, you don't ever envision traveling it or taking a bike touring, and you don't think you'll need to ship your e-bike to other parts of the country, then really there's no justification or point in getting the LIGO modules. But we're not going to stop you if you're intrigued and you want all of these features. And the modularity is a really useful benefit in that you can continuously grow your e-bike as your needs change. And you can also split apart the LIGO into smaller modules when you're doing things like traveling or camping and the small individual pack is a useful power source. But otherwise, we're really intending this to solve that very specific niche of people who want to fly and tour the world by e-bike and are encumbered by the difficulty of bringing a dangerous goods battery on a passenger aircraft, which is otherwise completely impossible. The LIGO 10X lets you do that seamlessly and effortlessly, and we really look forward to getting in the hands of e-bike explorers all over the world. The LIGOs are available right now on our website to purchase, either by themselves or with a rail system, and even including a rail with a built-in base on a motor controller. We're hoping this pack reduces the burden for those wanting to travel and explore the world by e-bike, and we look forward to getting it in as many people's hands as we can.